And also, uh, I have no doubt this man has used OGO a time or two. He is star racing Yamaha's Jeremy Martin. What's up, J-Mart? How are you, man? Hey, boys. What do you know? <laughs> oh, not much, man. We're just discussing the race on the weekend, the Triple Crown and everything else. Uh, uh, you got second overall. Um, I was worried, though, J-Mart. I texted you because we can't have Phil qualifying better. We just can't because oh, we won't hear the end dude. of it. Oh, dude. So the first the first session, I go down in like the so shorter set of whoops, and I was like, my my foot blew off the pegs, and I was just like riding on a mechanical bull at that point. I just ghosted the bike. <laughs> and uh, I was like, what? This is a joke, man. I get up, you know, licking my wounds, and I get going. And then uh, the first time session, I threw down a pretty good lap, I thought. And uh, wasn't even close to the board, but I see the 715 Phil Nicoletti up there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, dude, what's going on? I need to get my get my stuff together. Yeah, you you can't you can't be doing that. And there's no way. So I'm glad it worked out. You know. So. Hey, honestly though, Phil's going pretty fast right now. He's That's what I said. Him. Yes, that's he, what I said. He said. is. You got to give it I'm to him. I'm right? genuinely impressed. Yeah, yeah. It, it, the guy was a Canadian Supercross champion, and we all giggle, but he's actually been pretty good. So you know, um, yeah, do you, yeah. Do you like the Triple Crowns, Jay Mart? I mean, look, you're known for fitness. You're a bulldog. You know what I mean. You, you you can go the same speed for the entire thing. I get it. So the, these Triple Crowns don't really work out to your favor. So where are you at on that? Honestly, guys, I kind of liked it. So. For me, it's like you can have like a really good day or let's just say you're having like a really shitty day. And I would say Dallas for me starting out was not very good. You know, um, I went down again in the first time session and the longer set of whoops. And then we just threw a Hail Mary and I had a spring fork on the bike and we took that off and went to an air fork and just wow. completely different setting for the third practice session. Um and I haven't rode it in months, you know, and then I was able to be P4. And then it was next thing you know, the gate drops for the first triple crown race and jet goes down. Levi's over, like over, like at the top of the berm. And then I have nowhere to go and I tip over in the berm, you mm -hmm. know? And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, you know? <laughs> so for me, I ended up getting back to ninth, but, I kind of like the triple crown because if you do have a shitty night, yep. you get two more chances to redeem yourself or at least get a good ride in, right? Yeah, you uh, scored you, 23 points with a ninth. Like, hold you're on, pretty stoked. Hold on, though. You went from a spring fork yeah. that you've been riding on to an air fork yeah. in the middle of a supercross? Yeah, well, dude. Phil I mean, was faster than him. He's throwing everything yeah, at it. I guess when Phil is better, you just, I mean, there's nothing that's out of bounds anymore, j -Bart. Yeah, well, do it. You know, desperate times. All the desperate measures. Gotta, oh, that's <laughs> great. The team and I did. I trust the team. You know. Yeah, yeah, for that's, sure. That's crazy. They were willing to go that big on yeah, on race day. That right? is like, not a clicker or two change. <laughs> that is something a little bigger. But yeah, it worked, man. So you know, um, yeah. Was that was that a setting that you had previously ridden on? Is that what you said? Yeah, like I'd rode it before, but um, the the biggest thing I'm I'm noticing this year is like the obviously the whoops I think are bigger than they've been definitely in years past, but um, the way uh, they, they get so rough, guys, that like I mean we've got you know four different sets of whoops out here at the Star Farm, and it's like we hit them and you know we beat them up, but they don't get nowhere near like what they they've, they've yeah. been like the last two rounds, you know, and you just learn so much more about your bike and. Um, the tracks are tighter than practice day and the transitions are, the, everything's just kind of different, you know? Yeah. 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 Uh, I talked to you a little bit at Minneapolis and um, I think there was a legit bit of nerves for you. Like just get through this one. You got fourth, you passed RJ, the, the, the uh, McAdoo wasn't very far in front of you at one point. Were you happy? Are you, I guess let's go. You've gone four and two. Are you happy with the start of your season so far? Uh, yes, yes and no. I mean, okay. hey, I'm, I'm still I'm still here in the game after two rounds. Yes, so that's yep. a big win. Yeah, yeah. You know, last year was a complete disaster, and then um, you know, I'm still I'm still fighting for it. But uh, to be honest, uh, I'm not. I haven't been too stoked on how I've been riding. I feel like I ride better during the week, mm -hmm. and then on the week uh, on Saturday, you show up. You got to get the track down, and then the way the the lines develop because there's so many other guys riding. It's mm -hmm. kind of like, uh, 
it's a bit tough. Like you ride your practice track, you get it down, and then you make the lines, right? Yep. And it's, it's definitely a game changer when you get there on race day and, and it's like, you know, everybody else has hit the track and you're just trying to make do with what's there, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, you you don't really think about that as far as yeah a rider. Yeah, and I, I mean obviously they have a lot of guys riding their test tracks, but they're all good riders riding their test track. So I think the track I'm I'm sure develops differently than it will at a race, no matter how many people yeah. you let you let ride your practice track. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> and yeah. at at Supercrosses, the slower guys are the ones going first, setting those lines. So like yeah. you're sort of starting off on a not the A A group lines or what's cutting into the A group guys are trying to adapt to the slower yeah. guys ruts. And yeah. Yeah, I think that that's that's coming to focus, especially like the Triple Crown. The number of laps you guys did, Jeremy, were a lot. Uh, somebody I think, I think it was at fourteen or something per yeah, race. Yeah, fourteen per race or ish. <laughs> they did twenty laps at Minneapolis too, like in their class. Twenty. Twenty laps. Oh, yeah, total. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, laps. right, right. Like, I just man, but this races one are what, long. This one is t- uh, yeah, fourteen, twenty-eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th- I don't forty-two. What are you a fan of the <laughs> timed main events? I'm kind of over it. Well. With it. I was a fan of the time main events when they brought them in because I felt like I, this all started from like I, st- I timed a race one time and it was a 14 yeah, minute that, main event. Yeah, that one in Santa, right. Santa Clara or wherever. And I'm like, look, well, you extreme. can't have 14 minute, 450 main events. Ryan Dungey hitting the track. He was a sure. star of the time. Ryan Dungey hitting the track for 20 minutes. <laughs> you can't have that. But almost <clears throat> now, I almost think, J Mart, they could back the time main events down a little bit because the track is at. beat down <laughs> right now. Yeah, I mean, the track's definitely like. I mean, I've done a couple 450 main events, and like the two, we have it easy in the 250 class, man. I compared to those guys, like for the yeah. last like probably six laps, I think we can all agree. It, I mean, the, it looks pretty gnarly out there. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. for sure. Uh, your your buddy, your your brother, I should say, uh, troll at Anaheim one was like Mathis. You should see the track. He was in the unseated <laughs> B practice in 450s, last one of the day. He goes, you wouldn't believe the track condition. I'm like, yeah, yeah I've heard. Just doing the obstacles I've heard. is a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I don't think our fans think of that necessarily. So. Yeah, no, I mean, it's one thing to ride, like, Supercross track when it's, like, freshly prepped or whatever. and But then when it gets beat down like that, it's um, you got to have a bike that you can, you know, that can handle uh, rough conditions as well, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, Jeremy, I don't know if you're aware of this, uh, but <laughs> Daytona is coming up this weekend, and you're good there. Yeah, boys, I'm pretty cranked. I mean, let's, let's <laughs> yeah. be honest. Like, you can hear like, it. My, my, my podium last weekend was a gifted podium, so um, I'd like to earn this one. Um, so I'm excited to go into Daytona and get uh, try to earn the real official uh, podium here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like how Jmar says it was just gifted to him. A lot of guys wouldn't. Mm-hmm. A lot of guys would be like, hey, man, I got a podium. But you're like, nah. Yeah, I, you like, know, I like that. So, I like it. Uh, Jeremy, how's your second turn going at Star now? Obviously, uh, this is your, your second time back there, your second year back on the, for the second time. But how's everything going with the Star guys and yourself? And, and, and you know what I mean? Like you're back there. You won your championships for them outdoors. How, how's life uh, at Star uh, for the part two? It's, uh, it's different, um, I'd say, than the first time. But I think it's a combination of um, – me being I'm definitely a lot more mature on my side and mm-hmm. knowing how to doing a not knowing because I'm still learning but uh, having a better uh, idea of how to like ask for things or to how to communicate mm-hmm. and um, and do it respectfully and get what you need mm-hmm. you know um, so that's definitely better but uh, I, mean, I was definitely still on pins and needles guys last week um, you know Star yeah. wasn't too happy Christian just dominated the West Coast and. You know, he's just been riding amazing. So I get out there and I get a fourth at the hometown race. It was not a comfortable feeling this last week, that's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> What's it like with the uh, down at the farm, the goat farm, uh, and you got all these kids, and and you got Ferrandis and Tomac, and like what th- that that level must be kind of gnarly during the week. Well, yeah. So like, I kind of haven't spent. Um, Eli hasn't been here a whole lot, mm-hmm. just, and then those guys went two weeks before the West coast season, all the West coast guys, Eli and Dylan were all out in California. Yep. So the whole time that I've been prepping, it's just been Levi and I riding together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, So it was kind of a little bit of like, uh, Hey, like, you know, how we doing, you know, like, cause you want to ride with the guys that are, you know, racing. Right. And, um, we just put our heads down and then, uh, Dylan just came back and then Christian and them are back and stuff now. So I should be able to ride with those guys this week. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, what's your, um, 
Jeremy, what's your uh, eligibility status? Like, are you score 135 and you're out or win a title and you're out? Or where, where are you at? I mean, I don't really know how it would work, but I'm pretty sure if I get over that point allotment, I'm I'm pointed out. Yeah. Um, and the only way I could really stay 250 is if, if I won the championship, I could defend, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah, you could. Uh, even if you win it in, like, yeah, your fifth uh, year yeah, or something? Though? I believe so. <clears throat> okay. Changes. So that's the only way I could really stay. But um, so you're telling me man, he, tell you, you're telling me he if he wins the title he can defend, but if he scores over 135 and doesn't win the title he has to leave. Yes. Sounds, yeah. Sounds, sounds brilliant. Seems, seems backwards to me. <clears throat> yeah, I tell you what, boys. So hey, we got to get it out there on the Pulp Show right now. All you 450 managers, I'll make some phone calls. I'm looking. <laughs> okay. All right. I like it. Well, we, and that's cr- Christian's the same way. Christian says, I'm out of there. I don't care if I win or not. And Christian can stay down if he wins the championship. He can still stay down. And he said he's out too. So, j you're yeah. you're going to be battling with him to get a ride. And Colt. And Justin. Yeah, I yeah. Wanna, <laughs> I'm ready to go, you know. I'm, right. I'm definitely ready. I mean, I've stayed down enough, and I've done what I've had to do to, to make a living at what I love to do. But, I mean, damn it, man. I'm uh, You know, I'd like to – you know, if I can't get a ride, maybe this is my last year, you know. Um, but I'd like to do one year of 450. Mm-hmm. Um, but racing ain't cheap, boys. And, no, uh, <laughs> no, don't, don't spend your money, J-Mar. Don't do that. Definitely not. Yeah, I ain't going to go as a private. I mean, I could go as a privateer effort, but I just would spend so much money. And, uh, no, yeah, but I, I he, think I'd. Here's what I think, though. Here's what I though. think. And I've said this about Marty over the years. Marty was like, oh, I need a fact. You know, if I have a factory of 450 ride, I'll move up. Well, he never got one. You know right. what I mean? But, like, dude, what is wrong with a bike like Justin Brayton's? Good suspension. Look, if Phil got good suspension from KYB, you could be damn sure Jeremy Martin could get good suspension, okay? He's J-Mart. Good suspension, twisted doing your motors, a Moto Concepts ride or, you know, um, a Rocky Mountain ride or one of these things where the 450 is is very close, maybe not everything, of a factory bike. And then you you ride your balls off, which J-Mart can do, and you get to a factory ride. It can happen. Larry Ward did it. Tim Ferry did it. You know? I, it, yeah, like, I mean, like, there's, yeah. There, there's no doubt. I mean, you can make it happen. I mean, it's uh, something that when you when you look at who's who's signed right now in the 450 class, and I think there's going to be some people moving around at the end of this yeah, year. Wouldn't you too. guys agree? Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I agree. Absolutely. Um, and I think that's going to be interesting in itself. I mean, there's some good guys that might retire, but there's also some good guys that if they get the right deal, maybe they won't retire, you know? Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, I think I think so, it's going to be a tough, tough year to enter the 450 market. Is is what I'm worried about. Yeah, so that's kind of what I was thinking about too. So, uh, you know, would a satellite off, uh, team be pretty good? Uh, it's something that I'm considering, and uh, I was kind of going to yeah. wait till I get like four or five rounds in, and then because um, I'm just so focused on look, like I'm I got a podium, but it was gifted. <laughs> Uh, I've got decent speed, but I still got to find more jets. I'd say like right up there as far as like raw speed, it's mm-hmm. pretty crazy. So I've just been focused on just trying to get better every weekend, and then obviously eventually, um, since I don't have an agent anymore, I got to put the the agent cap on. And then I was thinking, you know, hey, we got to start putting out feelers, which is coming very soon too. So yeah, uh, yeah. time to start doing that. Well, yeah, there's yeah. a saying. There's a saying, Jeremy, that I like to use, and it's win and in, and it could be with a number of win and win and you get the girl win and you get the ride too yeah win, win and you're in <laughs> <laughs> that's right yeah no uh, hey uh jeremy what do you think of uh big al's 450 season so far we can't figure out why he looks so small on the damn bike because it's the same bike frame and motor but he does look small on it but hey since he broke his finger the last two weeks big al's been pretty good alex is hey honestly girl. not bad though huh like, no, he's got no. some moments yeah, but then you're like, all right, he's starting to get pretty good, and then he'll do something, and you're just like, oh my god, how did you not die? Did you see? Did you hear about this practice session from the weekend? Did he tell you about this? Well, so I heard about it from my my team. They were like, I got dude. back, and they're like, dude, go check on your brother. <laughs> <laughs> he crashed four times. I got home like right as race day live was kind of concluding, and yeah. I, I happened to catch the end of the practice, yeah. and he crashed twice in one lap. Like, within a couple straightaways, I think. He crashed riding around the whoops. He <laughs> went to go guy. pull off the track to ride around the whoops, and he lost his front end and went down. Why does he look so small on that thing? He looks I don't like know. He's driving a boat. I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't Jeremy. know. I mean, dude, I was I was looking at his bike uh, at the end of that last main event, and I was looking at him. He's got like bear claws for foot pegs on them things. <laughs> he does. He's got, like fifteen millimeter. They're like <clears throat> jacked way up there. You know? Yeah. 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 No, I know. Cut yeah. seat and all kinds of shit, or. I don't know. I, I didn't look at no, the seat. No, I don't but, think he's got um, a cut seat. Uh, for whatever reason, doesn't work Well, it's work pretty on short one, from so. seat to foot pegs yeah, on, a Yamaha, on a Yamaha. And he's Yamaha. saying his pegs are taller even, so, so yeah, it's even. Uh, yeah. God knows he's the lightest guy in the 450 class, and he has yet to get a whole shot. Why? I don't know, dude. I don't know. Um, he, he, I think it's been good for him. It got rough at the beginning. It looked yeah. rough. Yeah. He's figured it out, you know? J Mart, I got a question for you. Went back to the agent talk. What uh, would you ever consider going and traveling the world and racing GPs? You know, I've thought about that quite a bit. Like, obviously, you guys know I'm a I'm a massive outdoor guy. I just love it, right? Um, I've thought about how cool would it be to do a, everyone. Every all the European guys will come over here and try to be successful in America, mm-hmm. um, but not many of us have gone over there and tried to really make a name for yourself over there. Um, so I like that idea. So, uh, I thought about it, uh, and I'm not against it. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I mean, I think you'd be really good because you're a tough, tough, gritty guy. Right. And their, their races are tough. Like they're not on the best tracks at all the time and like different soils. And I, I just think it's a cool, if you have the means and you're not, you know, you don't have to worry about dragging, you know, kids and to travel the world and, and do a world championship in an outdoor series that I think you'd be really competitive at in both classes. Like, that could be a life thing that would be really fun, and you well, could make a living. He's got to ride MXGP now, right? Because he's too old. But yeah, mm-hmm. um, right. but yeah, I, I I agree. Be great to see him out there. Seven zero two five eight six seven eight five seven. Got a question for Jeremy Martin. Uh, brought to you by the folks at OGO Power Sports. Thank you to OGO for stepping up. And uh, we got a question on one for uh, Jeremy. Let's get to it. Reed, what's going on? What's your question for Jeremy? Um, are you gonna be at the goat farm Wednesday? Are you going to be at the Go Farm Wednesday? <laughs> I guess Reed's going. <laughs> yes, yes, I will be there. Yes, I will. My my dad's going to sell some equipment for you. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. <laughs> good, good job. That's uh, that's cool. Uh, thanks, Reed. Thanks for calling in. Can you show me some stuff while I'm there? Sell you some stuff? Show. No, show. Oh, show. Okay, Jeremy. Yeah, I mean, when I'm not out there riding or whatever, yeah, I'll come over and give you a good chat, and uh, you can see, we can check it out. All right. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Reid. Thank you. Oh, there we go. All right. I don't know what that was Selling about. Stuff. I have no idea, but, um, <laughs> you know, it'll be, it'll be uh, Jeremy, we'll Wednesday. see him on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. <clears throat> uh, and then, Jeremy, so um, will you, you'll, you're, obviously, you're, you're staying in Florida here the uh, East Coast, and then when do you go come back to Cali? Are you going to do it like near the end of the series and then do outdoor stuff here? Or do, by that time, can you go home to Rochester and start riding the track? Or what's your schedule for the rest of the year? Man, I tell you what, the pl- I don't know if I'll ever, uh, other than just going out there for a California uh, outdoor round, I don't know if I'll hit the West Coast during the week, really. Really? Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, ideally in a perfect world, this is perfect, guys, Um I would love to, when it, when Supercross is over, I would love to transition after the third or fourth round of outdoors up to Minnesota. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that way I did the testing with the team. Uh, you know, we've done the races. We've been in the heat of the battle. We learned what we needed to learn for bike setup and stuff. And then um, uh, I got some heat training in and then get out of it before you kind of cook yourself, you know? Right. I like it. Yeah. Now, but you're – your dad doesn't prep the track for you and stuff there, right? So it's kind of like rain ruddy and, and crappy? Or do he you rides like other tracks, though. I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Do you just ride Millville, or where, where can you ride around there? Well, so I have I have that, um, like, it's like we call it, like, the 50 track, which is basically like a glorified turn track. Okay. Um, I have that track. I have the main track at Millville, and then I have the track up top at Millville, and oh. then I have a, a minute, 20-second turn track up on, on the top as well. Cool. And then, like, five minutes down the road, my buddy has, I built a, I had Shane Schaefer come in and build a really sweet outdoor track there. Is that the one that Jimmy um, Albertson crashed on the factory Honda? 
and left it no, there? No, that's, okay. that's Meadow Valley. Oh, yeah. Like a mile or two down I was there that day, by the way. You were there that day? <laughs> <laughs> well, not not for the everybody riding the factory Honda, because that would have been sweet. <laughs> yeah. I would have done that. Right. I, I already left at that point, but I was for, there the day. Crashed. Jeremy's buddies, how many uh, how many uh, of your guys, Jeremy Rule, got to ride Jimmy's factory Honda that day? <laughs> 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 Jeremy was there, right? <laughs> Jeremy rode it actually. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Yeah. So, so we have enough tracks to ride. Yeah, I got quite a bit. I got a couple sand tracks I can ride at too. So I'm pretty. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty fortunate. Right. Pretty fortunate. Uh, yeah. It. Uh. It. It definitely. Um. I mean, again, that's a beautiful time of the year to be up there in Minnesota, and and it's good to ride and all of that. So I, I like that program. I just. I didn't. I knew Millville like when it's not prepped like any track. It's it's you know might get kind of tiring, but it sounds like you're you're fine. So yeah, it gets pretty tiring. But I think the cool thing is too. Like I'm obviously still young, but I'm been in the sport now for a little while. But dude, my dad's going to be 66 this spring, mm-hmm. and you know I, it's nice because I've been gone away for so long with racing and stuff, and then uh, I go back and I train there. And it's just, it's just cool to be around my mom and right. dad. Obviously, I'm still doing my job. I'm not with them 24-7. But yep. my dad will come over on the Ranger or something like that and be like, dude, you look like shit in this turn, you know? <laughs> <laughs> just like old times. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I've grown to like that, you know. I, I like that for sure. And you talked about your dad getting older. And is running Millville in your future or, or Alex's future? Or do you have not even Hold thought on. of that yet? I got a comment about that. So Alex <laughs> says Jeremy will not run Millville. And Alex is going to have to get stuck doing all the work. That's what Troll says. Well, that's so he's so full of shit, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm just okay. saying what well. what Troll told us. So yeah, no. So I think what'll happen is it's definitely going to be there. Um, but you got to remember, I got a sister too, so it's got to be split evenly between the three yeah. of us. Yeah. So um, what we'll do? Yeah. I'll I'll probably yeah I'll probably look into going that avenue or something. Hopefully, I can have uh, another source of a revenue away from racing. Um, and then I can also dabble with that and kind of just, uh, do that on the side as well. You know, well, troll said he's got too much money and he doesn't want to do the work and I'm going to have to end up doing all the work and at Millville. That's what, that's what Jeremy troll can just keep, Troll organized. He'll he'll manage. Supervise. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> uh, they should hire Phil as like a flagman or something. That'd be great. Oh man, he would be like such a, gr- a disgruntled employee. Yeah, like a nice greeter at the gate. Yeah. Oh yeah. Welcome yeah, to Millville. Phil, Phil be Phil will be upstate New York. Yeah. He's gonna work. He'll probably work for the county. Up In the there prison. Corrections. Yeah. 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 He was gonna be yep. a prison guard for a while there. I don't know what happened, but at some point he was gonna be a prison guard, which which fits him. Isn't, that, isn't that what Bobby's doing? Yeah. Bobby Canari's yeah. doing that. <laughs> What's Carpenter doing? Uh, working for the city too. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you did a pod. Uh, I did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we got a we got a Preston on one. Preston, you have an idea on why Troll looks uh, small on the bike? Yeah. Hey guys. Yeah, I think I figured it out. Okay. Because the bike is white. That's okay. true. I, I look white fatter in white gear. I can get on with that. Really? Yeah. yeah I think so. Yeah. Is yeah, that is yeah, that a real I was thing? Just thinking okay. about that. I think it's a thing. Jeremy, okay. is that a real yeah, thing? Yeah, white makes you look bigger. Okay. Hey, let's get some let's get some spray paint. We'll spray paint everything. <laughs> I like and spray we'll just paint. See idea. how he looks, huh? <laughs> bring it to Daytona. There we go. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna bring spray paint to Daytona, and I don't know if uh, if we'll Brandon see. at Club will be happy with us spray painting Patrol, but we'll do it. Yeah. All right. Yep, th- yep, yep. Okay. Thanks, Preston. All right. Uh, not a bad idea. Yeah, we'll spray paint troll. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> right, exactly. Just make his bike look better in the whoops, yeah. all kinds of things. Like, right. man, that thing's going straight now. It <laughs> yeah, doesn't look, look like it turns great. better, um, fits it better, yeah. Uh, all right, Jeremy. Hey, man, uh, anything else for Jeremy Martin from you two in no. the uh, gallery? Good, good luck, luck at Daytona. Yeah. yeah, good luck in Daytona. This is your place, man. You you ride that place really well. So uh, I am sure that uh, you'll be really good this weekend. And thanks for thanks for calling in, J-Mart. Yeah, boys, thanks for having me on, and enjoy the rest of the night. All right, all right. thank you, man. Uh, that's Jeremy Martin brought to you by the folks at OGO, OGO Power Sports. What OGO product do you like the best? Uh, this backpack I have. I don't know what kind it is, but it's an OGO. I don't know what style. 